Greetings ladies and menfolk, and welcome to Black Candle Mini Painting. Today we're going to be working on an easy workup for Golden Armor. This will be useful for Stormcast Eternals for Age of Sigmar, and even Adeptus Custodes for 40k. This is a very easy and effective technique to achieve a high quality finish for that Golden Armor. I'm going to be painting a Stormcast Vanquisher from Age of Sigmar. To start off we will be priming black, as you can see I've already done that. We're going to start off with an all-over coat of Gobi Brown from Scale 75. I'm using this color because I find it has a great base and shade tone for the gold color I'm going for. Matte colors like this make a really great contrast for the super shiny finish I will be going for with the metallics. You can use whatever method you like for this. I'm going to be using my airbrush for speed and efficiency. Now you don't need to be super careful with this step, so don't be afraid if this gets on other parts of your model. You will want to make sure to thin your paint so you don't clog up that fantastic detail on the armor. I've made sure the Gobi Brown is good and dry before moving on to the next step. I left mine outside in the Arkansas heat for about 20 minutes. Next we'll be moving on to our first metallic paint. We'll be using Dwarven Gold from Scale 75. This is a nice warm gold that will look great on this model. I'll be using a medium dry brush from Artis Opus to apply this paint. Dry brushing basically means you load a little paint onto your brush, then remove most of the pigment from the bristles using a paper towel. This will allow you to get a smooth transition and an almost dusty look which I find works fantastic for metallics. When applying this layer, you almost want to use a buffing motion with not a lot of pressure, making sure to leave that goby brown in the deepest recesses. After we get that applied, we're going to do a very similar step using Citrine Alchemy, also from Scale 75. We are almost repeating the previous step, but using a small dry brush from Artis Opus and being more selective with our application. In some places, almost going for an edge highlight. Now that the Citrine Alchemy is applied, I'm calling this armor ready for the tabletop, and it looks fantastic. Join me next time where we will be working out how to do that fantastic blue armor and cloth from the hammers of Sigmar Stormhost. Be sure to follow for more tips, tricks, and techniques, and thanks for watching, guys.